Headquartered in The Hague in the Netherlands, Europol is the law enforcement agency of the European Union, EU, and serves as a cross-border police force to track criminals through cooperation between the EU member states. Its focus is primarily on cracking down on serious international organized crime and terrorism through the sharing of information across borders. So in this video, we are going to show you European criminals that shock the industry. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Messina Denaro Matteo Matteo Messina Denaro, also known as Diabolic, is a Sicilian mafia boss. He got his nickname from the Italian comic book character of the same name. He is considered to be one of the new leaders of Cosa Nostra after the arrest of Bernardo Provenzano on 11 April 2006 and the arrest of Salvatore Lo Piccolo in November 2007. Messina De Naro became known nationally on 12 April 2001 when the magazine L'Espresso put him on the cover with the headline, Echo Il Nuovo Capo della Mafia. Here is the new head of the mafia, or here is the new mafia boss. He has been a fugitive on the most wanted lists since 1993 and according to Forbes magazine, he is among the 10 most wanted criminals in the world. On 20 October 2020, Messina De Naro was sentenced in absentia to life imprisonment by the Corte Assize for having been one of the instigators of the Capaci bombing and Via D'Amelio bombing. On 12 August 2021, T1 released the first ever voice recording of Messina De Naro. <laughs> The recording originated from an archived cassette tape of the court of Marsala until it was recovered by local anti-monifia associations and news outlets. The recording, dated 18 March 1993, takes place in the court of Marsala regarding a murder case in Partana. Messina De Naro testified in the case and almost three months later was deemed a fugitive. On 10 September 2021, there was a Dutch news report that Messina De Naro might have been arrested two days earlier while in a restaurant in the Hague after receiving a tip from Italian authorities. However, Dutch prosecutors confirmed later that it was not De Naro, but instead a man from Liverpool. Following this incident, severe criticism was directed toward Italian authorities. On 30 September 2021, two revealed the first known video of Messina De Naro. The sighting came from a security camera in the area of the Val del Belize in December 2009. The footage shows a Mitsubishi Pajero driving through the valley, revealing at least two occupants. The front passenger is supposedly Messina De Naro. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now let's get back to our topic. Edinjo Pulti Edinjo Pulti is wanted for several attempted murders on August 2, 2020, in Patanj. That evening, two rival gangs confront each other in a restaurant and in the middle of the street, violently attack each other and embark on a chase through the streets of the city, which ends in a deliberately caused head-on collision. According to the police, one of the victims suffered serious injuries in the abdomen. As of January 2021, he is subject to a European and international arrest warrant ordered by the investigating judge in charge of the investigation. The suspect, who last lived in Nancy and disappeared after the fact and be found in his native Albania. On 21 February 2022, he was last seen in a nightclub in Shkadra, Albania. On 25 January 2021, a European arrest warrant and an international arrest warrant were issued against Edinjo Pulti. The press would spread false accusations and the police wouldn't even want to hear them. This is what Edinjo Pulti, who has been on the list of Europe's most wanted criminals since November 2021, wrote in an email to several press outlets, including the Luxembourg Award. On Wednesday, he sends an email to the Luxembourg Award. He identifies himself there with a copy of his passport and specifies that he has contacted the Luxembourg police to give the investigators explanations about the events. However, they would not have given their consent. For this reason, he sent the investigators a written statement in which he explained more details about the truth about this event. He writes to the war and other outlets whose email list is visible. Your fake news is circulating everywhere in the media, which has allowed the destruction of my image and considerable inconvenience to my family. According to him, it is easy for the media to spread incorrect information with clicks. But they should also be aware of the consequences of their actions, added Edinjo Pulti, and to add, I really hope that after the investigators clarify everything that happened, you will publish the incident as true and withdraw the unjust accusations that you have published against me. Marsalek Jan Jay Marsalek was a member of the board of management of Warcard Ag with headquarters in Ashheim near Munich from February 2010 to June 2020. As KU, Chief Operating Officer, he was responsible for the entire operational business, including sales, and since at least 2015, he has been largely responsible for the Asia business and the Tupa business. 
Jan Marcelek is strongly suspected of having committed commercial gang fraud, a particularly serious case of embezzlement and other property and economic offenses. He presumably resigned from Germany in the days after his time off as a board member at Wirecard AG. Based on the current results of the investigation, it is considered very likely that the person sought will be staying abroad. The Financial Times reported that Marcelek is a person of interest for a number of European governments due to his alleged links to Russian intelligence. An investigation by Bellingcat, Der Spiegel, and the Insider indicated that Marsalek flew to Minsk hours after he was fired. On 19 July 2020, the German Handelsblatt reported that Marsalek was suspected to be in Russia, where he was believed to live under the supervision of Gru in a mansion near Moscow. According to Russian media, Marsalek could have been a longtime asset of Gru, recruited at the end of the 1990s through the Austrian-Russian Friendship Society. Among his friends were Gru Colonel Andrei Chuprigin Stanislav Petlinsky, a former officer to the presidential administration in Russia, as well as Rami al Abidi, former chief of Libyan intelligence. Marcelik boasted about trips he made to Palmyra as a guest of the Russian military and helped set up the presence of the Wagner Group in Libya. In August 2020, Interpol issued a red notice for Marsalek, which is a request to law enforcement worldwide to locate and arrest him, pending extradition. Jawurk Jacek Pyatter Jacek Jawurk has been wanted since July 2021 on the basis of an order from the Misko District Prosecutor's Office. The 52-year-old is suspected of murdering three people. The triple murder occurred on the night of 9 to 10 July in the village of Boros in the Siestokshawa District, Slasky Voivodeship. Jacek Jawurk was supposed to kill his brother, wife, and their 17-year-old son. Only the 13-year-old son of the murdered man managed to escape from the crime scene. The boy hid from his uncle and then ran away through the window. The man is wanted with an arrest warrant, the European Arrest Warrant, and Interpol has issued a red slip for him. The red notice informs law enforcement authorities around the world of the need to locate and temporarily detain a wanted person, said a statement released by the Silesian police. Winster, Sherwin Benshoman. The prosecutor's office in the Netherlands has offered a 10,000 euro reward for the tip that leads to the arrest of a Curacao man. Sherwin Benshoman Winster in the summer of 2022 escaped from a so-called TB's clinic where convicted persons with mental problems are treated together with another convict. Winster was convicted to 5.5 years in 2019 for a case of double extortion and an armed robbery that resulted in a death. More than two years after his escape from the clinic in Midwigen, Winster is still on the run. Winster is on the Dutch national search list and has now been added to Europe's most wanted list of Europol, which contains the names of dozens of European suspects. Some of them, including Winster, have been marked as dangerous. Dutch authorities think that Winster may be in Belgium. People who happen to see Winster are advised not to approach him, but to call the police. Joe's Lee Jekers with the largest price of 75,000 euros on his head, Joe's Lee Jekers is wanted as a key player in the large-scale trafficking, import, and export of cocaine in the Netherlands and Belgium. Dutch cops believe he was also involved in several cases of excessive violence. One of his victims is thought to be Neymar Jill, who disappeared on October 20, 2019, after getting into a car in Amsterdam. By intercepting encrypted messages, police learn of Lee Jekers' likely involvement in her death. As part of the investigation, cops seized a phone which showed images of Jillo which indicated she had likely been tortured before being killed. He's also suspected of playing a key role in importing large amounts of cocaine through Rotterdam and Antwerp, and of using violence in at least one case. Rigo Went Rigo Went from Germany is wanted in Luxembourg. He is suspected of human trafficking, pimping, and money laundering. The offenses have been committed between 2012 and February 2019. Went is highly suspected to have set up an escort and cowgirl service, which was also available in Luxembourg. He organized and coordinated the transport of women from Germany to customers in Luxembourg. Went used to be the owner of three brothels in Germany, including an establishment known as Club Pearls. He has been wanted internationally since 25 February 2019. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you like this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.